Hello, my name is Stacey DeMoss and I will be presenting on the topic of work-life balance. What I'm going to be talking about and cover are some of the histories and work-life balance issues, along with what work-life balance actually is. Several myths and truths or realities related to the myths, the reasons for imbalances, the solutions for imbalances, human resources with work-life balance, and last but not least, the benefits with work-life balance. So the history behind work-life balance is the leisure opposition was created in the 1800s and was first used in the United Kingdom in the 1970s to describe the balance between work and professional life. This was first used in the U.S. in 1986. The meaning behind work-life balance is the lack of opposition between work and other roles of life. It is the state of equilibrium in which demands of personal life, professional life, and family life are equal. Work-life balance is about effectively managing and juggling the act between paid work and other activities that are important to people. It is not about saying that work is wrong or bad, but that work shouldn't completely rule your life and crowd out your family friends, and personal development, leisure, and or recreational time. So there are several myths behind work-life balance, one, one of which is that work-life balance means splitting your, your time half at work and half at home. The reality behind this is that work-life balance happens when people are limited with the amount of mental, physical, and emotional resources distributes to the resources consistent with their personal and professional goals. Myth number two, work-life balance is equal with work-family balance and family and or family support. The reality behind this is that work-life balance and family support are equal only to those that it applies to with a desire for family balance and creates a resentment from the single employees or employees without children. Myth number three, women need more work-life balance than men. The reality behind this is that research shows that one third of men would stop working to stay home if income wasn't an issue. Both men and women are affected by the demands inside and outside of work. Work-life balance is, in, is an increasing issue for all and continues to change in these areas. More sole parents and women are working. Increasing amounts of people work more than one job. Workforce ages and diversity. Companies complete, compete goal Companies compete globally to hire skilled employees. Technology has changed the way we work. Cell phones and PCs have fogged the division between work and personal time. Here are some, res some human resource solutions, which are on-the-job training, always prioritize all work, have trained managers to spot work overloads within the employees, have discussions on work-life balance, have employee surveys on work-life problems, allow flexible schedules for your employees, allow job sharing when, needing, when needed, allow employees time off from work, and sponsor employee team building activities along with family activities. Some work-life balance benefits are you have more time to spend with your family and loved ones or any other way you would choose to spend your free time. You have less sacrifice and more choice. You will have improved mental and physical health within your staff. Your staff will become more organized. You feel rested and refreshed. You have productive work and career success and your relationships are better with everyone. This would include inside and outside of work. So with my presentation, I'll conclude that family and work life are both important to employees and any corporation 
If the two are not maintained well, it creates strain and stress, which results in many different kinds of problems. Achieving good balance between work, family, and leisure is a growing concern for HR and employees. Thank you for your time, and that's the conclusion to my project.